Got a tech tip for you today. Today we're going to be checking out the gimbal bearing. Uh, first thing you want to do on a fairly regular basis is pump some grease into that greaser. A couple times a summer for sure. So make sure you got plenty of grease and if you do have a leak in your U-joint bellows, it'll help keep the water away and keep the bearing lasting longer. But you also want to take a look inside of here at your U-joint bellows on a fairly regular basis to see if you have dry rotting going on or complete hole. If you got a hole, it'll actually make your boat sink. So that's pretty important. So on this one today, gimbal bearing is bad and we're gonna have to replace it. Taking the out drive off so I can actually inspect the gimbal bearing and feel if it, it has rough spots in it from rust or from wear. This one's full of rust. So while this is off, there's grease certs on your U-joints. Now, especially since it was full of water, you definitely want to pump these full of grease so you don't end up losing a U-joint and being stuck out on the water. These should be greased every time the drive comes off. It'll help keep the little needle bearings inside these U-joints from getting rusty and from wearing out. Can you hear that? So a brand new one. Don't make any noise. Now we gotta go get some tools to remove the gimbal bearing. I'm gonna remove the gimbal bearing. My handy dandy gimbal bearing remover. This one's bad. In this case, both the boots are gonna be replaced because you gotta re remove the exhaust bellows to remove the U-joint bellows. So there's no sense of putting back in an old boot when it's coming out anyways. Exhaust bellows. New joint bellows. There's the hole. And there's a hole like this in there. This is underwater the whole time when it's in the water. So water will get inside of here, which you've seen how rusty that gimbal bearing is, and you've seen how rusty the U-joints were, but ultimately, when there's a hole in the U-joint bellows, if you float your boat, like in a slip, and you don't have an auto bilge pump, your boat will end up on the bottom, because that's a huge leak. I marked the hole, where the hole is, for the grease cert, the grease comes in so I can line up the hole in the gimbal bearing right over that so when you pump grease into it it goes right into the gimbal bearing
So mark the mark to the mark, and you're good to go. Well, we gotta pound, pound it in all the way. There. Sometimes this goes easy. Sometimes you get a workout. Solid. And it's in. And there's one more really important part. Once the gimbal bearing is pounded in, is you gotta check your alignment. You gotta get the gimbal bearing, the swivel, directly in place with the coupler so when you put the drive on, there isn't any tension to where you could prematurely take out the gimbal bearing and have to do this job all over again. So you loop the alignment tool up so you can see the spline marks. I want to get plenty on there. And you do this so that when you insert it in there, if you get into the splines, you'll be able to see the spline marks going all the way down through the grease. Because sometimes it'll feel like you're all the way in there and you're not. This one was perfect. See the spline marks? That's how I knew it went all the way in. And just by pure luck, that's how they should be. All the way in, just that smooth. It's not that smooth. The engine maybe has moved on the motor mounts or you haven't got it, the gimbal bearing twisted into the right direction so everything will go together correctly. So now we're going to grease the gimbal bearing. It doesn't have any grease in it right now until I see it come out on the inside. Next step would be to install your new U-joint bellows and exhaust bellows and then replace the gasket that goes between the drive and the transom assembly along with the o-ring that goes around the water park. Get it all back together and uh, you're ready to go boating again.